Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Tuesday the 20th of April. Today we have Psalm 98, Deuteronomy uh, in chapter 5 starting at verse 22 and then the New Testament is from Ephesians continuing in chapter 1 from verse 15. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Then the Easter anthems for this season. From 1 Corinthians 5. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. From Romans 6. Christ, once raised from the dead, lies no more, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. And finally, from 1 Corinthians 15. Christ has been raised from the dead, the firstfruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. The night has passed. And the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so, Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, his deliverance has he, open, has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of horn, sound praises before the Lord the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out together before the Lord. For he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Lord God, just and true, you make your salvation known in the sight of the nations. Tune the song of our hearts to the music of creation as you come among us to judge the earth through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody. Sing praises before the Lord, the King. As we were working our way yesterday in the Bible study through uh, the book of Ephesians, a bit later than we're going to hear today, I was asking the question, how do we use worship music now in this time of lockdown? And we just explored the ways in which just putting on a CD or listening to you know, Apple Music or Spotify or you know, listening to Premier Radio, whatever it is, 
just hearing that praise and those words of praise to God, reading a psalm, reading a psalm out loud, whatever it is that we do, listening to an old hymn, listening to whatever it is that we do, just that praise just lifts our spirits, brings us closer to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory, and that is our victory too. So the Old Testament reading is from Deuteronomy 5, verse 22 to the end. These words the Lord spoke with a loud voice to your whole assembly at the mountain, out of the fire, the cloud and the thick darkness, and he added no more. He wrote them on two stone tablets and gave them to me. When you heard the voice out of the darkness while the mountain was burning with fire, you approached me, all the heads of your tribes and your elders, and you said, Look, the Lord our God has shown us his glory and greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the fire. Today we have seen that God may speak to someone, and the person may still live. So now, why should, should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of the Lord our God any longer, we shall die. For who is there of all flesh? that has heard the voice of the living God, speaking out of the fire as we have, and remained alive. Go near, you yourself, and hear all that the Lord your God will say. Then tell us everything that the Lord our God tells you, and we will listen and do it. The Lord heard your words when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I have heard the words of this people which they have spoken to you. They are right in all that they have spoken, if only they had such a mind as this, to fear me and to keep all my commandments always, so that it might go well with them and with their children forever. Go say to them, return to your tents, but you stand here by me and I will tell you all the commandments, the statutes and the ordinances that you shall teach them, so that they may do them in the land that I am giving them to possess." You must therefore be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn to the right or to the left. You must follow exactly the path that the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live and that you may go well with it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land that you are to possess. You must therefore be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded, not turning right or left. But how do we know the path? How do we know if we've gone right or left? And if we have gone right or left, how do we know to go back again to get on that path? Because being on the path means that it will go well with you and live long in the land that you possess. Going off the path, Maybe not. Well, in those days, they had access to God on the mountain and Moses was able to go and to seek uh, the law from him. And this is what's been described by Moses as they're about to enter into the promised land. But now, Jesus has been he died, he rose, he's back with his Father, and he has sent the Spirit to be with us and in us. And it's the Spirit of God that shows us the path. We need to be attentive and we need to obey. But by doing so, we will remain on that path, that it may go well with us. And finally, the book of Ephesians, the letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, starting at verse 15. I've heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love towards all the saints, and for this reason I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, 
may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that, with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power? God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he also put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all. So the power of the resurrection is the power that lives in us. And it shows us the immeasurable greatness of his power. The working of his great power. and all things are under his feet. And he is the head of the church. If we are the body, he is the head. And therefore we must listen and do what the head tells us to do. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Now the collect for this week. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord. Give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteous and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And just a reminder that tomorrow we'll have a slightly different time for this Facebook broadcast because there will be a service in church at 10 o'clock tomorrow and so the broadcast will be at 10 o'clock not at 9 15 and then that will be posted later in the day. Hope to see you then. God bless. <laughs>